Johnny, yes, Papa. Johnny, Johnny, no, Papa. What? Is it not working? Your mic is out 1%. No, it's not. Okay, is it better now? Is it working now? Hello? 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 Better? Okay. Hi, chat. Wrong mic. I don't think so. I don't think so. Chat, you, you know the... No, I was going to say the only good thing that came from boxing. And then I was like... Wait, no, a lot of good things came from boxing. I looked so ugly on that stage because I couldn't wear makeup. Where now I'm just like, nah, I don't have to put on eyeliner today. Finally breaking the stigma around me having to wear eyeliner every day. Uh, It's just one day though because I'm tired as shit. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. It's the first day that I didn't wake up super depressed since the fight, where I didn't have a pit in my stomach, where I was like, oh, oh my god, chat, it was so funny, right? After a uh, stream yesterday, I was like, okay, I'm gonna lie down, close my eyes for 10 minutes, and then go to my roommates, because I haven't actually been able to, you know, talk to them properly since I got back. So I lie down straight after the stream, don't even know what time I ended, I think it was like 7pm, and I'm like, okay, and then I literally was like, okay, just quick, like, shut my eyes for a minute and then I'll get up. And then I open my eyes and I'm like, something feels off right now. And I look at my phone and it's fucking 3 a.m. I was like, what the fuck? So then I was like, well, okay, back to sleep I go. Back to sleep I go. And then I woke up at 8 a.m. and did a nice little workout. Sad little workout too, because, you know. Oh. Oh. <sighs> Uh, explain your boxing. Yes. Yeah, so today, chat, what we're going to be doing is I feel like I've been missing out on this court case for a long time. Uh, a lot of streamers are streaming it. A lot of people are talking about it. I actually don't know shit about it. I see people talking about this Camille girl. I see people talking about James Franco and I absolutely know nothing about it. So I said I want to maybe get caught up on it a bit, have a little gander at it and then uh i'm charging my vr shit right now and then we'll do boxing we'll do boxing if i'm not too tired you know show show off the skills show off the skills uh yeah vr's back i finally found it well turns out it was just there the whole the whole time camille camille is a beast you ever get tired from running through my top oh wow your dog stepped on a bee? Man, you're confusing me. How do I even learn about it? Is it live right now? Amber versus Johnny. Is there like a good video of a rundown of everything? Oh, it is live right now. It's been going on for a while, huh? Goes on eight hours a day. Oh. It's over for the day. There's a lot going on. There's still another week after this. Okay, Johnny versus Amber rundown. Week recap. Recap. Full breakdown. No, that's three weeks ago. Okay. Here's... I just in my. Okay. Here's a here's a here's a little recap. I had instantly think of. Kate Moss and the stairs, and I swung in him. And all of my relationship to date with Johnny, I hadn't landed a blow. Okay, so the Johnny Depp versus Amber Heard trial. What? What an unusual way to word that. Wait, what? I hadn't landed a blow? She's actually acting like she's fucking boxing. Okay, I'm calling Amber Heard out. Fight me, bitch. Fight me, bitch. Trial is now in a recess after hitting the midpoint of Amber's testimony last week. I know lots of you have been asking we for update videos, but Come I really on, wanted to treat cunt. this subject as carefully as I can 
as this is a very sensitive subject that has a lot of ramifications for abuse victims. I know, I'm kidding. She would knock me out. She got more experience at hitting. She has more experience at hitting than I do. Being in the public eye. If I get an easter egg wrong on a Marvel video, then people will have a go in the comments, but with this, if I put a foot wrong, it's way, way worse. I've had tons of comments from people saying that okay, unsubscribing for me just- chat. Listen, I just want to get caught up on it. I just want to understand what's going on because I'm tired of seeing it everywhere and not understanding. I just know right now that people are on Johnny Depp's side or something. Uh, he seems to be, you know. Even covering it, but this is counted by the amount of people that- What do you mean she'll shit on me? Asked me to go over it. The thing with YouTube is that no matter what you do, people are going to complain. And even a video like my Squid Game Breakdown had 3,000 people unsubscribed from the channel because of it. Damn. So just being as respectful and objective as possible in this video, and throughout it, we're going to be going over the updates she since we dropped the last one. Instead of discussing oh, wait, Amber's testimony per se, I'm going to be doing what we did with Johnny and discussing the reaction to it from I lawyers, behavior experts, and people who have far more insight on the topic than I do. I'll also be covering the ones we missed, such as Travis McGiven, a Hollywood executive, as well as Amber's personal psychologist, before moving on to her testimony. Now, last week, opened with a big move by Amber after she fired her entire PR team due to a string she of bad shit headlines. on his her pillow? Was this a fetish thing? Or what? Public opinion on the trial definitely seems to be in Johnny's favor, and since acquiring the new team, there's been clear attempts by them to try and shift the narrative. Several newspapers have posted her statements in the testimony as truth it was rather than malicious. allegations, and there's also been several times. Why would you ever shit on someone's pillow? She shit out of anger. He got pink eye. This is. I'm throughout the last two weeks where That's hashtag I stand real. with Amber Heard has trended online. I'm sure most of you watching this know Depp lost a libel case with his son, and interestingly, this case might have shown that the newspaper did indeed make stuff up. In her he testimony, was leaving her. He was leaving her, and she shut in his bed. Look, I'm a bit confused. What in that? How is that going to make him come back? Ended up bringing forth pictures of the bruises she claims she sustained she from Depp's abuse. She cut off his abuse. finger. Placing these side by side with the son's front page, you can see that they in fact photoshopped them, adding to the idea that the media definitely jumped to her side in order to enforce this notion. Now, Travis McGiven, who worked as Johnny Depp's security guard, did a two-hour testimony talking about their relationship she and what he witnessed. She severed his finger. What do you recall Miss Heard saying in those instances? Debbie, dad. Washed up. You name it. Miss Heard didn't like my involvement in the situation. And what did she say to you in that instance? A, a lot. One-sided conversation. But What's she right? My career choice. Called me a yes man. Yeah, she she definitely threw some shade on me and, and my chosen career. What if any injuries did you she observe on She tried to blame on, on the then? dog. I didn't notice any injuries. And what, if any, injuries did you observe on Mr. Depp when he returned from Australia? So Mr. Depp had his hands heavily wrapped. He requested I meet him at Penthouse 5, requested that I bring the nurse. And at some point, I witnessed Ms. Heard throw a Red Bull can. They were both on the, the middle level, and I, I saw Ms. Heard throw a Red Bull can from her uh... position that struck Mr. Depp in the back. Anything else that you recall? At that point, I moved closer to Mr. Depp. I didn't, I didn't want my client getting hit. How long, have, how long were they dating, chat? Wait, Penthouse 5? Does this man name his penthouses by number? That's how fucking rich he is. Hey, where are we hanging today, boys? Let's head out to penthouse number 11. I'm feeling like the other penthouses just don't... Oh, they were married. They were married? For six years? When did they get divorced? At one point, Miss Heard threw something else, either a purse or some sort of bag or something that she had up there. I was able to knock it away so it didn't hit him. At one point, she spit at him. Married and I she shot. I felt it was time to get Mr. Depp out of the situation, so I stepped in between Miss Heard and Mr. Depp, telling Mr. Depp that we were that we were leaving and that it wasn't Don't stick your dick in crazy. At that point, out of the corner of my eye, I saw a, a fist and an arm come across my right shoulder, and uh, I heard and saw a closed fist um, contact <gasps> on the left side of his face. And whose fist was that? That was Miss Heard's fist, Amber Heard's fist. Respond when he was punched. The initial look on his face kind of mirrored mine, uh, kind of a look of shock, like what just happened, where'd that come from? At that point, I wasn't gonna let Mr. Depp get hit anymore, so I moved him down the last flight of stairs and told him we're leaving. It, like it wasn't, it wasn't up to him anymore. Just for his Whoa. safety, I let, him get my fan. I let him get punched. My job is to ensure the safety and well-being of my clients. I felt like I hadn't done that, so Mr. Depp got right in my face. He was wearing sunglasses, and uh, maybe not sunglasses. He was wearing glasses. Um, pulled him down, pointed to the left side of his face, and told me that's your fault. What did you see on the left side of Mr. Depp's face? He said. He blamed his security guard. Uh, it was there was already a nice little a nice little shiner, definitely swollen and red. It wasn't black and blue yet, but it was definitely swollen and red. At any point during this in incident, did Mr. Depp throw anything at Miss Heard? No. At any point, did Mr. Depp throw anything at anyone? She no. shot on the dog. At any time during no, this incident, did Mr. Depp physically respond to Miss Heard? Stop! I can't tell when no. you're joking. What if any injuries did you observe on Miss Heard that evening? I didn't notice any injuries. Because in your time working for Mr. Depp, have you ever seen Mr. Depp physically abuse Miss Heard? I have not. The only time I would say I've seen Mr. Depp drunk was uh, when he would 
fall asleep on the couch, sitting up with his boots on. Other than that, Mr. Depp handles his. Oh, she blamed well. the so shit on the dog. And we also had a personal nurse to Amber who discussed Amber at length as well as the allegations made by her. On that occasion, you observed that she did. She had a bloody lip. Amber, correct? her personal nurse, by what? And she told you that that was the result of. Um, the altercation with Mr. Sorry, Chad. Yeah. I'm just so behind on this case and it's so annoying seeing it everywhere and not knowing what's going on. And then I hate, like, just being Do clueless. Do you recall Ms. ever telling you that she thought Mr. Depp was um, cheating on her? No, I don't recall that specifically. I just, as I said, have a general sense of uh, remembering jealousy being an issue. In the testimony, she She's talked about being sent the photographs of her. Amber's injuries and also the bruised lip, which she examined. Oh, shit. The nurse Charlie said that she referred Amber to be checked out by a professional that. physician, but that she was often ignored. She also brought up her drug abuse, and I'm not entirely sure she benefited either side. She did seem to confirm elements of both stories and also discuss Amber's bipolar disorder, which is something that was brought up by Dr. Curry, who will talk more about in just a bit. She has a personality now, as much as this trial disorder? Has devolved into an abuse yeah, she has BPD. So do I. You don't see me shitting on people's beds. You don't see me hitting people. Well, that is just hard to say after I was in a box about three days ago. But you see, I do it for charity. She does it just to do it. Focus seems to have shifted from the defamation side of it, which okay, is what the lawsuit people, is actually about. Like it's very easy to get caught up in the more headline-grabbing things, but at the core of it is this idea that because of Heard's piece, that Johnny Depp lost a lot of roles in Hollywood. She's this was discussed by Richard Marks, a Hollywood executive who went over the ins and outs of Depp's perception in the industry. It means a movement. Well, I would say, uh, the bigger the company, the bigger the budgets, they're all sensitive. Uh, but at the pinnacle of sensitivity are the family-friendly companies like Disney. Uh, they're particularly sensitive. Uh, uh, not in a general way, but in a very specific way. Mr. Marks, are you thank you so much, Pid. Thank Post you. Eighteenth, two thousand eighteen. Yes. What's your understanding of how that op-ed was received in Hollywood? I will actually say, Chad, before I continue, I've actually been invited to two other boxing things. Um, that I can't speak about that I didn't say yes to. I have to think about it. Uh. Because, once again, I'm like, I want to take a bit of a break so that I can enjoy, like, go out, see my friends again, not stay up late. But then also being in the ring was the most alive I felt in whatever. Being a hit oh my God. made me feel alive. <laughs> Throwing hits made me feel alive. Um... But honestly, probably shouldn't be talking about being. I, I enjoy being hit when we're watching the Amber and Johnny Depp case. But let's. But yeah. But I just. I. I. Right now, I think I'm gonna have to say no to them because they are at the end of the year. Uh, I wasn't happy with my performance. Looking back on it, I won out of anger. It was my weakness that fucked me up, but also my weakness that won it for me, because you know, looking back at the fight, she was fucking killing me she was do 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 going in quick she was throwing more punches where point wise she probably would have won had i not like got super angry and done that last three uh and i'm just like i don't know i don't know i'd need to practice way way more and but i'm also wanted to take a break for a bit gotta get that lifting going on again so i can get these muscles back Philip DeFranco said yours was the best match. Oh, that's very sweet. I also need to... Yeah, this was my first boxing match. I had like four months of training. So... And looking back, my form was absolutely embarrassing. Uh, Why don't you say yes so they pay for your training? They're not going to pay for my training, I don't think. I do keep spelling Haley's name wrong. I feel so bad. I got it right now. I didn't realize when people were like, she's spelling it wrong. I'm like, no, I'm not. And then I was like, oh. Yeah, I am. I love Haley. My dude. understanding of so cool. how that op ed was received in Hollywood. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yes. Is this his personal understanding, his expert understanding? It seems like if it's his personal understanding, it's not relevant. I'm asking Mr. March based on his nearly 50 years in the entertainment I'll industry. Objection. Thank you. As I've said before, I'm a member of the Hollywood community. That op ed. Uh, for the first time is in uh, a mainstream publication called the Washington Post. This is a flagship uh, journal, if you will, of American news. We're not talking about a trade paper. We're not talking about a rag. We're talking about the Washington Post. And it Shit. is geared... My ADHD to... wasn't listening to anything. I was actually just staring at the screen blankly. Not in what's in my head there. Hollywood. It says 
two years ago when I was getting my uh, divorce, Amber Heard is saying, uh, I, I was the abuser and you didn't Hollywood. Yeah. You, you stood up for my no. uh, abuser, not for Jackson, me. Your Jackson, yeah. My brain's all over the place. I'm still talking about my fight while trying to watch this. But yeah, I finally got caught up on my fansly messages today, and it was so cool because I had like so many recordings of people recording their action, uh, them recording their reaction to my fight. And there was this really sweet French Canadian girl, Buffy. Thank you for that. And she like recorded the whole thing, and her reaction during it was so funny. And I was like, it's so cool being able to watch this. And uh, no, I'm not renewing it. So I got my final payout today. So that's why you can kind of see I'm already posting less pictures. I will stay on it and talk to people because I do like that side of stuff. But, uh... Yeah. I think he's, he's expressing his understanding of how it was perceived. I'll overrule the objection. Go ahead. What I'm saying is Hollywood got the, uh, the, the subject matter... Of the I don't... Of the, I can't try to listen to clear. this. Amber focus, head, focus. Hollywood for supporting... Uh, uh, since, ni since 2016, supporting her abuser... And, Thank uh, you, Banana. Uh, she felt the wrath of Hollywood. She was calling them out to do something. Hi, Brad. In the Washington Post and um, on the eve of her biggest uh, film, a big film for Hollywood, the publicity machine was in high gear. There was What's he saying, Chuck? publicity Tom? and uh, oh. news out there. This was the height of, of her fame, and she okay. used it at that moment to call Hollywood out. They, uh, okay. In my opinion, as a member of Hollywood, they heard uh, okay. that plea loud and clear, uh, and... Um, uh, it also got her okay. publicity for her movie. Man, I'm always, I'm so fucking hypocritical. I'm like, damn, I want to do more react content. Because I see, like, the views these streamers get when they react to this case. And I'm like, they're just talking over it. This is easy. I can't even get through 10 minutes without being like, doo doo doo. What's he saying? I could never. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, I don't think that that, in my perception, the people in Hollywood didn't see that as a coincidence, that date. Uh, and, um. So yeah, in, in Hollywood, I think um, uh, the message was received that she was sending. Okay. This was a really interesting statement that went through Hollywood's reaction to the Me Too movement. Marx later went on to say that in his belief, Hollywood had a complete no tolerance policy to any accusations of abuse at the time, and that several actors were let go because the Me Too movement was so strong that they simply didn't want to deal with the optics of working with abusers. There was also discussion of Johnny's reputation before the op-ed, which Heard's team tried to use to show uh -oh. that it might not have been that that caused his career's downfall. I've discussed in other videos their strategy and how they're not only trying to deflect, but also show that Depp did these things, which is a route that they took here. Personally, I think this attack failed as Mark's basically- Why is it so quick? Because otherwise we won't listen. ...and the way that Hollywood dealt with actors, but I'll let you make up your own mind with this new clip. Now, you agree that there was negative publicity about Mr. Depp being publicly drunk before the op-ed, correct? What's wrong with being publicly there, drunk? There was, I, I, I agree with the proposition that there was negative Thank publicity Thank you so much, Dash. The op-ed op was something different. And you agree, it, is it- in 2014, there was an article in The Guardian that said apparently drunk Johnny Depp cut off at Hollywood Film Awards ceremony. Would you agree with that? Again, I, I don't remember reading The, the Guardian, uh, and I don't remember that particular incident, but I, I'll take you uh, at your word. And you, you remember in looking through all the documents that you saw an article that Johnny Depp allegedly showed up drunk to movie premiere, reports say, right? That was in 2017. I, I think I've testified that, uh, that there, there is certainly Johnny Depp behavior and, and uh, uh, negativity out there, yes. And, and that a family that a family that a family production studio like Disney wouldn't want to be associated with, correct? Mm -hmm. uh, again, you're talking about a very specific. Uh, Wait, is uh, this guy on Johnny's you know, side or not on Johnny's side? Five films that are in billions of dollars, uh, and there is a line in Hollywood, as I've said. He's talking about some drunk public thing. To make thing. Money, public uh, but drinking. Now we've drawn a line. Uh, in Why are we watching old clips? Because I need uh, a uh, recap. Because I not I did abuse. not look at this. And, and looking through the documents, you case saw at all. June What's your opinion on this? Uh, I don't know. Hour drug binges and spending sprees I haven't watched it at all. You saw that? Again, I, I know these articles He's on Johnny's exist. side? No, they're not in the Washington Post. I don't know. Who okay. Put before the Mr. Said, dumb uh, commentator trying to uh, trade on being uh, a smarty pants wrote that. Smarty and you agree that pants? There's article in 2015 that says, quote, has Johnny Depp become Hollywood's biggest joke? Smarty pants? I don't know. Netflix has a whole festival going now. Netflix is a joke. And you uh, agree that there is an article in business. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, He's uh, here for a while. I think, uh, I think I'll just look at the highlights. Career highs weren't really factors in deciding if he got jobs, and that it was more than no tolerance to abuse that the industry took. I'll then be following this up with okay, a break. Okay, I'll just look at the highlights, because my ADHD cannot listen to this right now. Okay, highlights. Look up a sum summary video. Amber versus Johnny. Highlights. Have you watched Heartstopper? No. Day 10 highlights. But I want to see the whole thing. I want to understand what's going on. Full breakdown. Huh? 
Uh, there's like three weeks and eight hours a day, so highlights are the way to go. True. Watch the mean ones. Watch Mojo. Check out this verbo. Oh, now look at me. Here it, I am. That's like Kermit the Frog. Look at me. Here I am. It's like 60 hours of this court case. God damn. Ross, you'll do what Mr. Depp wants, correct? Oh, shit. Nope. Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 moments from the Johnny Depp and Amber Heard trial that broke the internet. I think imagine putting, like, imagine going to court, which is already a fucking stressful situation, and then being broadcast and having, like, all of it just shown to everyone around the world. It's so weird. Bring muffins to the office. For this list, we're looking at highlights from the ongoing Depp v. Heard trial that have sent social media into it's a so frenzy. Weird. Which moment from the trial? Are they like, do you think they asked for that? Do you think they'd be like, no, I don't want to public? Are they allowed to do that? Your TikTok account explode. Let us know in the comments. Number 10, mystery of the phantom flatulence. Step B heard has raised various questions, some disturbing, it's some bizarre, choice. and some a bit of both. It's also raised one incredibly immature question. Did somebody break wind before the court? And can you just describe for those of us who have no idea? On the stand, you, witness Georgina Gina Duders testified for death. Georgina she Duders? a longtime friend. Georgina While discussing Duders. arnica cream, Duders suddenly moved Duders. around in her chair with a surprising expression, saying, quote, oops, sorry, that was me. Um, Oh, sorry, that was me. This led some to believe that she Duders farted? had passed gas. The clip started circulating online, but with a fake fart added. While Snopes Duders wasn't duded? able to verify if Duders silently cut an air biscuit, the site confirmed that any videos featuring a loud flatulent sound had been doctored. Well, at least that's one case closed. All right, you're excused, ma'am. You can have, you're excused. <laughs> okay, thank you. Did she fart? Number nine, Shut first herself. lawyer objects to his own question. When one lawyer asks a question, it's not uncommon for the other legal team to say objection or hearsay. Objection. objection. In this instance, though, it all came from one side. With Depp's house manager, Ben King, on the stand, Heard's attorney, Adam Nadelhaft, inquired about a 2015 altercation that occurred in Australia. Nadelhaft implied that King wasn't informed what had caused damage to Depp's hand. When King replied that a doctor told him that Depp's finger had sustained injury, a stumbling Nadelhaft interrupted with an objection. Judge Penny Ascarati pointed out what everyone else was thinking. Nadelhaft objected to a question that he asked. Dr. Kipper told me he sustained an injury on uh, one of his well, fingers. Uh, objection, Here's, hearsay. Wait, you, you asked the question. Okay. Oh. Nadelhaft went to Michigan Law School and American University, but alas. Oh, God. Oh, my God. I got secondhand embarrassment from that. He sustained an injury on uh, one of his well, fingers. Uh, objection. Here's hearsay. Wait, you, you asked the question. Okay. Oh. Nadelhaft went to Michigan Law School and American University, but alas, this hiccup is probably oh. what the internet will best remember him for. Oh, God. Number eight, vape and run. The plaintiff and defendant were already household names, but the trial has also turned many of their friends and acquaintances into viral sensations. Alejandro Romero was a doorman at the building where Depp and Heard used to live together. Romero pre-recorded his deposition, which isn't that this unusual. Dude, what? what is unusual is that Romero recorded his testimony from a car while vaping. So the incident was May 21st. Although he ultimately cooperated, Romero made it evident that he wasn't interested in preparing for the trial. He clearly just wanted to get this Bro. over with. Romero didn't even wait for the testimony to wrap before driving away. Yes, I, I'm not gonna say no because she was oh really- Oh my God. All right, this is my last question. Be nice. All right, this is my last question. Folks online weren't the only ones cracking up. Depp Amber the... did coke in the court. I actually saw a clip of that, but I didn't believe it. Rest of the court could barely contain their laughter over the unprecedented deposition. So here we go. We have get off. Chat. I think I need to bring back scuffed cosplays. The really bad ones, like those shit ones. I don't know why I just thought of that. Number seven. Do you know the Muffin Man? 
Hurd's legal team know? enlisted Dr. Shannon Curry to analyze Hurd's claims of having PTSD. Rather than PTSD, Curry concluded that Hurd has borderline personality disorder or histrionic personality Say, disorder. Wait, In that? this case with borderline personality uh, disorder, the research yeah. tends to support a genetic component. As significant as this development was, Hurd's attorney, Elaine Bretterhoff, dwelled on what seemed like an inconsequential detail, muffins. According to Curry, she asked her husband to pick up muffins because she was running late. Mm, Bretterhoff suggested know. that the forensic psychologist wanted the muffins, muffin especially man. for her high-profile client, but Curry testified that she often has muffins at her office. Sounds straightforward, I'm but so Bretterhoff lost. focused on the baked goods to the point that Curry outright expressed her desire to, quote, histrionic? stop talking about muffins. I want to look up that before I forget. What is histrionic? Oh what is histrionic? Sister. Thanks to Atmaster10 for my sub gift. Hey, H bomb! Thank you for gifting H bomb a sub. Okay, what is this? It's a mental oh, health God. condition marked by intense, unstable <laughs> emotions and a distorted self image. Needs to be the center of attention. Okay. So she has. This and BPD? Oh my god. Fuck me. <laughs> Fuck me. I'm, I'm just fucking scared myself of BPD. Imagine I'm both. It's a subtype? Oh, well, thank fuck I don't have that one. They're That's describing Ms. Kim? May I clarify what occurred so that we can stop talking about the muffins? After that, the internet deemed that Curry was married to the muffin man. So. Why did your husband get the muffins for Amber Heard? He did not get the muffins for Amber Heard. Number six, guess what's inside Johnny's jar? On Piss. the stand, Heard recalled an instance where Depp was supposedly Shit. drinking. She also suspected that he was on drugs due to, quote, a jar of cocaine on the table. Like there was a jar, a jar of cocaine. At this point during Heard's testimony, a, a smirking jar. Depp whispered something to his lawyer, and they both had a good chuckle. While it's hard to make out what exactly Depp said, many viewers speculated that it was a reference to Captain Jack Sparrow. In Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Man's Chest, Jack taunts Davy Jones with a jar of dirt containing his heart. I got a jar of dirt, I got a jar of dirt, and guess what's inside it? Depp reportedly improvised this scene which became a fan favorite. What you know what, chat? I've never seen Avatar. Is that weird? Is that weird that I've never seen the movie Avatar? Have you seen it? One for yes, two for no. One for yes, two for no. It's so bad. It didn't age well. Oh. Oh. Interesting. Whatever Depp said at the trial, TikTokers were quick to play the two moments back to back. I realize it sounds weird, but it's like a, an actual vintage jar of it. Number five, what do Elon Musk and James Franco have in common? Within a month, Rich. Elon Musk managed to break the internet twice. On April 14th, 2022, Musk entered a bid to purchase Twitter for more than $40 billion. Oh, On top of that, Musk has been money, a man. focal point of Depp v. Heard. Oh, they both dated fucked the Amber? The next one says, James Franco fucked Amber? Elon. Correct. It's Elon Musk, right? Correct. Although Musk was considered a potential witness, sources say it's unlikely he'll take the stand. The same goes for Heard's Pineapple Express co-star James Franco, who was also on the potential witness list. Depp speculated that Heard was romantically involved with Musk and Franco when they were married. And you suspected that Amber or, was having an affair with James Franco, correct? That was uh, the reason for your argument. Um, yeah, yes. Whether or not Musk and Franco pop up, you can see why the internet is fixated on them. It's like a soap opera, right down to Franco's there was general video hospital footage. Stint. I'm happy for you, truly. Number four, the missing fingertip. James Franco was While alive in While contrasting accounts have been given, one thing is for certain. Depp lost the tip of his finger in 2015. In Australia to shoot Pirates of the Caribbean Dead Men Tell No Tales, Depp recalled Heard throwing a bottle that made contact. The next thing Depp knew, his middle fingertip wasn't where it should have been. The middle finger certainly took the brunt of it as okay. the tip. Heard denies that's what happened, claiming Depp attacked her that night and she oh. slept through the finger incident. In any case, 
Depp wrote on the walls using blood and paint. Like I could see where he had clearly run out of blood or it wasn't bleeding enough. House manager Ben King eventually Wasn't found the fingertip in a paper towel around the bar. It was rushed to the hospital where Depp was treated. Oh, Whichever sick. version you believe, the internet will be discussing this story for ages. I think at the time we were keen to get it to the hospital quickly to see if it could be reattached. Number three, a private story. Bro. On more than one occasion during she the trial, Depp has been bar. found chuckling at other people's testimonies. While Depp's reactions alone are meme-worthy, the stories that have filled the actor with such glee have also captivated the internet. The moment that arguably had Depp laughing the hardest came during the testimony of his bodyguard, Malcolm Connolly, being cross-examined by Adam Nadelhaft. Connolly was asked if he saw Depp urinating in his apartment's foyer. And Mr. Depp was trying to urinate in the foyer, wasn't he? No. Connolly replied with a simple no, but Nadelhaft continued to ask about Depp's junk. Except what? he didn't say junk. The bodyguard was pretty sure he would have remembered seeing Depp exposed. Her dog I think it would have been relevant. Laughter could be heard throughout the courtroom, with Depp burying his head in an unquenchable case of the giggles. I mean, so he was strong enough to break away from your grip, correct? No. Get out of here. You should watch Amber's cross examination. No free clout. No free clout. Get out of here, buddy. Number two, a disturbing What's a account. Cross -examination? While I'm the stupid. trial has had lighthearted moments, as evidenced in our list, this one was far more serious. Heard has made several allegations of assault against Depp throughout the trial. She claimed on day 14 that oh, the two were at a fancy Amber's California questions. trailer park with friends where they planned to do drugs like mushrooms. I think I had eaten a, a mushroom cap, um, but was not feeling. I'm confused, right? When they talk about mushrooms and cocaine, is that not illegal? Like, are they not fucking themselves over? anything at the time. At one point, Heard claims that Depp accused her of taking it? his cocaine. Heard testified that Depp proceeded to conduct an care, invasive well, search of her body. You know, I didn't know what to do. It's it just stood, oh. it stood there. She also relayed this Wait, unsettling story to Dr. Don why Hughes, she, she, who had concluded that, that Heard has PTSD. Virtually everyone online has an opinion on whether Heard's accusations are true or not. Wherever you stand on the debate, you can't talk about the trial without bringing up this alleged incident. These were angry moments, ang moments of dominance, moments of him trying to get control over her. Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. My dog stepped on a bee. Sometimes the most random quotes become the most memed. My dog stepped on a bee, <laughs> went to the vet. European kisses. Isaac Baruch, Johnny Depp's childhood friend, explains a kiss on the cheek. No, I'm not European. Depp's candy. Great, now Wonka's welcome song is stuck in our heads. Uh, but as I'm you can see, yeah. The camera captured Johnny's small stash of candy. Doodles by Depp. That's one way to pass the time. I mean, doing something like sketch, like it looks like a sketch. Mega pint of wine. Why is the wine always gone? You, you, you poured yourself a, um, a mega, mega pint, pint of red wine, correct? A mega pint. Before we continue, be a sure to subscribe pint. to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. I you have the pint. option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make Damn, sure you go into your settings and like. switch on notifications. Number one, Revenge of the Turd. Given the serious subjects it's brought up, some believe that the trial shouldn't be made light of in any capacity. Others say that a trial this unusual is ripe for satire, especially a story involving a bed and human fecal matter. Following a fight on Heard's 30th birthday, oh Depp alleged that his then wife left a parting gift before heading to Coachella. Um, and on my side of the bed, um, was human fecal matter. According to Depp, security guard Sean Bett showed him a photo of feces on his side of the bed. Heard supposedly blamed the dogs, but Depp had a hard time believing teacup Yorkies could produce such a turd. The dogs were, the, they're teacup Yorkies. They, they weigh about four pounds each. 
Starling Jenkins claims that Heard told him it was, quote, a horrible practical joke gone wrong. And with that, the trial officially became an It's Always Sunny episode. And what did Miss Heard say about the defecation in Mr. Dove's bed? A horrible practical joke gone wrong. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. Okay, let me look at the cross examination. Dude, what the fuck? What the fuck? Uh, Amber cross examination. I don't think Abra has BPD, I think HPD only. Uh, he. Oh. With reprodu reproductive. This? Cross exam highlight. Cross exam highlight. Amber Heard. You guys don't shit in your bed. It was on his pillow, man. Key moments. Highlights of day one. One of these days she'll get an ad blocker. Uh. Please stand. Mr. Depp hasn't looked at you once this entire trial, has he? Not that I've noticed, no. You've looked at him, though, many times, haven't you? Yes, I have. You know exactly why Mr. Depp won't look back at you, don't you? She does I look do. like Dr. Evil. He promised you he would never, you would never see his eyes again. Isn't that true? I don't recall if he said that. Oh, no, a hug will save it all. Oh, all this, no, no, all this, sorry, everything just we just did. I, I just wanted to touch you. Just really? After all this you yes. just said? I just wanted to give after you all a hug. Yes, yes, yes please, 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 He's literally been lying here the entire time. He follows me around now. He clingy baby. And chat, I forgot to tell you, I got Luigi back. So for anyone that doesn't know, I treated myself um, for the fight. I gave myself a little present and I got Luigi tinted. Look. Luigi's all glittery. Hold on, let me send it to myself on Discord. And it's so cool because it he changes color in the light. So sometimes he looks red and orange. Sometimes he looks blue. Sometimes he looks purple. Hold on, let me show you Luigi. Ship it up to Boston. Ship it up to Boston. Did it send? Shove it up to Boston. Shove it up to Boston. Luigi is a bougie oh my boy. God. Come on. Uh. Is he loves cake? Gifted a tier one sub to average underscore. Hey, please. thank you so much. Thanks so much for that. You know, I really appreciate that right now. Shove it up. The bastard chat. Okay, hold on. Does Minx still have bought or cats? Yes, of course I do. What you think I just gave one away? What? What? Okay. Look at Luigi, everybody. Luigi's so handsome now. My handsome Luigi, my handsome Luigi. He's glittery too. 
My handsome, glittery Luigi boy. See, it changes color. Sometimes it's blue, sometimes it's purple. Yay, my glittery car. So pretty. Let me smash. So handsome now. Hey Minx just wanted to say incredible job on the fight. It was a blast to watch you killed it. Thank Smile you. on your face must have been proud of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I didn't see my dad's reaction until today. I didn't even know that they took a video of my dad's reaction to winning. I'm gonna show it again because I saw it when I was in the gym and I almost started crying. I had no clue that they got my dad's fucking reaction to me winning. So for anyone that missed it on Twitter. It's okay, it's okay. recorded more of him but that's all they got yeah it was very nice to see yeah mom was drinking away mom was getting tart in the background oh my god <laughs> is he loves cake gifted a tier one sub to tactile dactyl uh thank you for gifting a sub okay back to the cross-examination testimony my fucking dude my brain is all over the place. I'm going back and forth. Fucking ADHD ass. See, my f***ing glasses on. You know, if I f***ing look in it's not my f***ing eyes, you will not see my eyes again. My ribs hurt. He was wearing rings on that occasion? I pretty much always knew him to wear rings. Okay, let's please pull up Defendant's Exhibit 170A, which is already in evidence, Your Honor. Yeah, 1.5 speed this shit. Zip zap zippity doo bop. You testified this is a picture you took after that incident, right, Miss Heard? Damn. Yes, that was one where he grabbed me. And hit you in the face so many times that you don't remember. Isn't that correct? That's Hi, correct. Cornelius. And there's no injuries to your face in this picture, are there? Not that this picture shows. And there's no medical records reflecting that you sought treatment after this alleged incident either. I did not seek medical treatment at this time. So there's no medical records reflecting any Auto injuries parts, to your face after what an hit, hit you name. several times. I did not need to go to the doctor at the time despite hitting you several times that you lost count with rings on, your on his fingers. That's correct. You also told this jury about an incident in Australia in March of 2015. Yes, that's correct. You testified that after this alleged incident, you had cuts on your forearms, right? Wait, I'm confused. What, who, who, who's, who's this person? Is she his lawyer? Does he have two lawyers? Yes, that's true. And you testified that you had cuts on the bottoms of your feet as well. Yes, that's true. And you testified that you had a bruise across your jaw from when Mr. Depp, quote, clocked you in the face, end quote. Okay, one of his That's lawyers, true. okay. You didn't take any pictures of these injuries while you were in Australia, did you? I don't think, no, I don't think I took any pictures. Can you get a tattoo on the bottom of your foot? I've never seen anyone with a tattoo on the bottom of their foot. This is a picture of you and Mr. Depp at the event the night after you Mr. Can. Depp allegedly Probably whacked him in the face Damn. so hard you thought he had broken your nose. He did whack me in the face and quickly. I did think he broke my nose. And this is you the night after. Yes, it is. Let's please pull up Plaintiff's Exhibit 1254. This is also a picture of you at the same event, correct, Ms. Heard? That is correct. Move to admit Plaintiff's Exhibit 1254. Yeah. All right, 1254 in evidence. You publish? Okay. And just to confirm now that the jury can see it, this is a picture of you at the same event, the night after Mr. Depp allegedly whacked you in the face so hard you thought he broke your nose. Uh, this is a picture of me um, after he did whack me in the face. The night after, right? Yes, it is. I believe it was the night after, yes. Your nose doesn't appear to be injured in any of these pictures, does it, Miss Heard? I'm wearing makeup. Your nose doesn't appear to be injured in any of these pictures, does it, Miss Heard? Yeah, she's so wearing makeup. Right. And makeup covers up swelling, right? Makeup will not cover up swelling. Ice will, though. Ice will cover up swelling? Ice reduces swelling. Normally, the swelling after that kind of injury is not as bad as you would, might imagine. And for me, she was taking it wasn't that bad. Haley. I have a picture of it underneath the makeup. That's how I know how to reference it. A picture you haven't produced or shown to this jury, right, Miss Heard? I have so I produced everything. But you haven't shown it to this jury. I would very much like to. It's not my job. Get out of here, Wells Fargo. 
She smells the bullshit. Mm-hmm. Maybe it is time to get ad blocker. Why do I look so dead? I am dead. I did die. I love his spicy lawyer. In interview, you said that you had, quote, donated, end quote, your entire divorce settlement to charity, right? That's correct. And in fact, your exact words were, quote, seven million in total was donated to, I split it between the ACLU and the Children's Hospital of Los Angeles, end quote. Right? That's, that's correct. I made that statement as soon Hi, as I got a divorce and we reached the settlement. That's when I pledged it, right then. And you say this because you, quote, wanted nothing, end quote. That is correct. But you hadn't donated your entire, entire $7 million settlement to charity at that point, had you? That's incorrect. Sitting here today, Ms. Heard, you still haven't donated the $7 million divorce settlement to charity. Isn't that right? Incorrect. I pledged the entirety no, of Ms. the Heard, settlement, that, $7 million to question. charity, and I, Ms. I Ms. intend to fulfill Heard, those obligations. Heard, that's not my question. Please, what try to question? answer my question. Sitting here today, you have not donated the $7 million donated, not pledged, donated the seven million dollars divorce settlement to charity i use pledge and donation synonymous with one another they but i don't miss heard i don't use it synonymously that's how donations are paid miss heard respectfully that's not my question as of today you have not paid 3.5 million dollars of your own money to the aclu yes or no i have not yet and as of today you have not paid 3.5 million dollars of your own money to the children's hospital of los angeles correct i have not yet johnny sued me so as of today you have not donated paid Damn. seven million dollars of your divorce settlement to charity right i have not been able to fulfill those uh, those uh, obligations yet and that's because you did want something didn't you i didn't want anything and i didn't get anything you wanted mr dad's money didn't get it wasn't interested in it i left johnny that's why i was with him so you made the sworn statement on february 26 2020 that's correct and directing your attention to paragraph four she's cute it says Quote, I remained financially independent from him the whole time we were together, and the entire amount of my divorce settlement was donated to charity, end quote. That is correct. Did I read that correctly? Yes, you did. The him you were referring to is Mr. Duff. That is correct. Most of the money that was donated to the ACLU and CHLA in your name came from someone else. Isn't that right? I don't know what you mean by most of. Well, at least $500,000 that was donated to the ACLU in your name wasn't paid by you, right? Uh, I believe Elon made a donation in my honor on one of, one of the years. Yeah, and it didn't come out of your $7 million divorce settlement, right? No, nor did it count towards my pledge. And at least $500,000 that was donated to the Children's Hospital of Los Angeles in your name wasn't paid by you either. Right, those were made at the same time. And it didn't come out of your Elon $7 is a sim. Nor did it count to my 3.5 obligation. Damn. Those $500,000 payments came from your new boyfriend, Elon Musk, right? Uh, he, I don't know if he was a new boyfriend at the time. You got him to pay part of what you promised to these two charities, didn't you? Incorrect. Because you wanted to keep at least some of a $7 million divorce settlement for yourself, right? You're very wrong about that. Damn. You wanted to remind every one of your claims of domestic violence against Mr. Depp, right? No, I wanted to move yeah, on with my life. Yeah, this is You wanted to make those claims seem believable. They are believable. They you were You wanted believable. them to be seen, you wanted to be seen, excuse me, as a noble victim of domestic violence. So she never, to be in, never uh, to be seen as a too. Nor have you... I ever called myself one. Oh. Interesting. So, basically, the rundown is... I actually still don't know. It's just a court case. Okay. Okay. I want to see her crying. Let's see if it looks real. The internet ruined my life. These. Oh, Asmund's here. Statements are used yep. hey, over and over and over and over here again. Here we go. Online impact it has on me is every time I look at it, uh, which is every day. I am set back. I have to relive it. I have to have my, the worst, most painful things I've ever gone through. Painful memories I've ever had. Things article? I've narrowly survived at times. Embarrassing, intimate details that I but you, never wanted but you wrote the article. to be known. Never wanted to be public ever and to have them used every single day to call me a liar. Yeah. I have to relive this every single day that I have to address those claims. Over and over and again, what about him? intimate, embarrassing deeply humiliating and personal things that I've survived are using me every day. Yep. Over and over again. It's torture. It's so, I'm in so much pain emotionally. I'm, I'm, I just wanted him to leave me alone. I wanted to move on with my life. And he won't let me. By making statements like this, he won't let me. I have he to be here on. today. I have to be article. reliving it every single time. He, with these statements, with these, these, these leaks, these comments, once again, makes me have to speak to the most horrifying things that I've lived through. 
It's torture. It's torturous. I want you to have to do that. I want to move on with my life. I have a baby. I want to move on. I want to move on. I want to Wait, move. they have a baby? Do they have a baby? I want to... You want to move on? You want to clear your name. Thank you. That's not what you want. Oh. Run. Oh, it's seven people. Damn. Damn. Okay. Well. Interesting, you know, interesting. When's it over? Uh, Amber her team stop record, stops recording after they realize they fucked up. Call Officer Melissa Signs. Bye. Caterino, are you still in uh, Florida? My deposition designation. Okay. It was edited and as cut. Yes. That you were supposed to be giving that pamphlet. Did oh, you fuck, provide you a copy of the pamphlet there. to Amber Heard? I did not. I did not identify her as a victim of domestic violence. Oh. Is that the sole reason why you did not give that to Amber Heard? Oh. Yes, we want to give them to the victims of domestic violence. I'm going to ask you to take a look. Oh, okay. At this point, Your Honor, uh, Ms. Heard's counsel is asking to move into evidence and publish. I bet they are. Defendants exhibits <laughs> 30. And uh, okay, I don't even know what's going on. Uh, finishes on the 27th of May. Ooh, Chad, are you excited for Streamer Royale also on the 27th of May? That. I'll be in. Oh, fuck. What's that? Uh, it's Amaranth's. It's Amaranth's event thing. It's, uh, hold on. Stream or Royale. It's not on the 28th. Oh, yeah, you're right. I'm dumb. It's this. The official Twitcher of the new show is Streamer Royale. What's your favorite streamers? Compete head to head live on May 28th. If you want to send in submissions, you can hear. What do you do in it? Um, I'm not sure yet. I was assuming it was like total wipeout, but now I don't know if it's fighting. We haven't really got information. I don't know if it's a fighting thing. I don't know if it's just like game modes. Yeah, Fall Guys IRL, whether it's a survival thing. All we know is it's an event. And I just got announced today. Probably because my dumbass leaked it. Austin is also on it. I'll show you the people that are on it. Connor Eat Pant. Connor Eat Pant is on it. These are the casters, the announcers. I don't know the concept yet. Nikki is on it. Me and Nikki will be reunited. Very fun, very cool. Pay Money Wubby is also going to be in it. Very cool, very sick. Myth is going to be in it. Amaru, the cosplay queen. Alinity. Lily Pichu. Okay. Is also in it. Jack Manifold. Also in it. Moist Critical. Also in it. And then I don't know if Amaranth is going to be hosting it or if she's going... Oh, lead producer. Or if she's going to be in it. Uh, but yeah, that's happening on May 28th. Uh, so that'll be fun. That'll be fun. Why does Minx look like that? Because I'm fucking tired, mate. Okay? Artosis is commentating? Yep. Uh, I already think Myth is going to be winning it. How many more people are going to be in it? I don't know. I don't know shit about the event. Uh, I just got invited and I was like, yeah. 
sure i want to be in that that sounds fun like we're not in a discord or anything have you seen ian's black eye uh let me see yeah i think it's going to be streamed on Amo's channel i don't know if i see in his black eye did andrea dye her hair pink i don't think so i don't think so so you agree to it without having any idea what you're doing yes a competition is a competition doesn't matter what you do in it it just has the chance for victory you know he was on philly d show oh shit was he <laughs> Thank you so much for the 11 gifted subs, Techno. Uh, chat, if you got gifted a sub, you say thank you. Thank you. Right. Wait, he was on his show? The truth about items in Dr. Mike's career clash scandal! Scandal? No, I cannot be part of any more scandals. Where? He's definitely showing the combo, oh. by the way. A little bit of a cheeky. Yeah, that was Shot a little cheeky. Touch. I, I don't... So we're going to get to that. But first, sup, you beautiful bastards. Welcome back to the Philip DeFranco Show. I hope you had a good weekend. Bastards. Quick note, uh, after... Oh, shit, he's talking fast. Every Philip DeFranco Show this week, I have a special after... That was yesterday's? Oh, there's a new one? It was on today's? I mean, anyone. Well, I was talking to Ian. I mean, anyone. Well, I was talking to Ian. He wants me to fight Philly D. Oh, really? Okay. And I was like, that guy has one spleen, man. I'm gonna fucking kill him. See, he has like an organ thing. Is he? No, because, so like, his, all kinds of things. <laughs> no, but my, I don't have organ failure. Thank you. <laughs> I shit myself. To Franco. I was too stunned to speak. Okay, so Why does she have it on increased playback speed? I don't know, man. My brain is slow. Defense, it is true that I only have one spleen, but that's because everyone only has one spleen. Actually, that's not true. About 10% of people have two spleens. Okay, it's I called an accessory it. spleen. I just learned that this morning. But we'll get to that after I say, sup, you beautiful bastards. Welcome back to the Philip DeFranco Show. I, I'm just giving you treats this week. Today's show is another double XL one and thing that's happening. Quick chat to guy. talk about what you guys were, were throwing. I'm, I'm glad to see like this is it. Oh yeah, I'm good. He, he only hit me in the head. He didn't hit my body at all. My body's looking... Hot. Well, I gotta I got ask that too. Where when you were when you were swinging at his body, were you thinking about points, or you were like, I'm gonna I'm gonna do the thing where I work his body and he's gonna get tired. Uh, the second thing, I I okay. really wanted to stop him with like a big body shot. On him. Oh, so you're was... like you're just going for the liver. You're just oh like, yeah, yeah. Hit that. Yeah, yeah, something, some organ. I wanted some organ to explode, but. Damn. 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 Right. Oh, Doctor. I'm curious about this first Mike video. Definitely showing the combo, oh. by the way. A little bit of a cheeky. Yeah, no, Shut no. up. Like, but if you like the big ones, yes, it would be different. Saying that the creators involved wanted to show respect to the sport, take it seriously, and train. Saying that it wouldn't be as cloud or money driven as previous influencer boxing events. And I also gotta say, just visually, yeah, if you Dr. compare and contrast Mike this on? event with Triller, do not show a graphic, oh, not trying did. to get into Ethan Klein's lawsuit. Like, Creator Clash looks so much better. Also, as far as the fighters, literally he everyone on the card, I wanna give props to Harley from Epic Meal Time and Aaron, Fully both bosses. Also, I Harley am. with the best promo Damn. call out of all time. This is for a good cause. That's why I did it. However, I only used about 20% of my abilities. I would like to exercise- I love Harley's mom. I was chatting to her a lot at the press conference. She was so cool. We kept running into each other. She's gorgeous too. Remaining 80%. I want to fight someone bigger. I want them to know what's going down. The talk. I'm talking to you. I'm six foot six. You think you're tall? You think you're the two time? This ain't a game, boy. <laughs> Ow, is he? Ain't gonna stop these guns. Ow. Possibly fight of the night was Justin Minx and Yodeling Haley. Like, just in its own right, amazing fight. But it Thank also, you. like, it was better than most everything. Also, massive shout out to Michael Reeves, who, of course, he went from not ever wow. fighting ever to just having the best form of almost anyone on the card. Engineers are just different. But, like I said, this event was not without controversy, with the two main things being about the final fight between iDubs and Dr. Mike. With the first controversy being that, unlike the rest of the fights for the night, this was supposed to be four rounds, three minutes, instead of five rounds, yeah. two minutes. With the Creator Clash Twitter even acknowledging this was a mess up. Though that wasn't enough for some people, it's spawning conspiracies, right? 
right? Was this done to protect Ian? Personally, I think the conspiracy theory is bullshit. I think it was just a mistake, but you know, the internet. And then as far as the second controversy, that was specifically about Dr. Mike. A number of people sounding off online saying that he was a poor sport, his ego is so big that he threw in some cheap shots on Ian, with many pointing to and sharing the video of the glove touch and an immediate swing by Dr. Mike. And here I'll say I'm of two minds, primarily because I like both of these guys. The part of my brain going, you know, when you're fighting, you need to be ready for a punch at any moment. But also the other part of my brain going, I Chat, I think I asked this yesterday, but I don't remember what you said. If, if they did another creator clash, would you like to see some of the fighters back or a whole new lineup? Didn't like to see it. It felt like weird and cheap for a charity event. But also, I haven't been in a situation like that. I don't know what happens when the adrenaline hits you like that. So that's why this morning I reached out to Dr. Mike and iDubbbz talk about the event. But I want to hear about the good and their responses to the controversial. Both iDubbbz hasn't responded yet, new, but this is a very quick turnaround new. for us. Though so Dr. Mike did, and here's what we talked about with the both. good and the controversial. Does it classify as a shiner? It's a shiner. It's a shiner. iDubbbz got me. I, you know what? I was, I was, I think I said this to you privately, and I think a lot of people have the mindset. I did not think that he was going to put up as much of a fight. I didn't know what shape he was in before he started posting the videos. He definitely bulked up to, to try and face you. I was so fucking impressed by that guy. I was incredibly impressed. Like, I've hit guys with my right hand in the gym that are bigger than Ian, and they go down. He did not go down ever. He, not only he didn't go down, he returned. He returned fire after taking hits. So he, he should be very proud, and um, I think he's come a long way. I also think he's smart in the way he approaches this by not putting out any footage and kind of leaving me in the dark. A lot of people said <laughs> what you said, you know, oh, I'd this is going to be Marina. really unfair. I'd You're loved so much fight, than him. Which is funny because I'm a doctor at the end of the day. I'm not a professional boxer. Oh, but, come know, on. You have oh, you have anyone that has over a decade of experience doing a thing, going against someone that has I less than a year. So much, Phil, you have no idea. Because no, this is, this is how right. that thing came about. You, 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 go, you go to the hospital, you work, and then every day for the last he, 10 he years, you put in four hours. Here's what happened. My producer is sitting with me and he's asking me to VO the footage and he's like, tell us what your history with boxing is. And I was like, 10, ten years. years ago, my mom passed away and I started boxing as a way to like schedule. Leading the NATO Deputy Secretary General to declare. Well, maybe now I should uh, get into VR and start boxing. Actually, no. Let's glance at the Reddit again. I'm going to keep looking at my Reddit until more people go on it and use it. Every day. Dr. Mike's talking about items the same way Minx talked about Haley. Oh, but oh exactly, how's your head feeling? Does it still hurt? No, just my jaw. She fucked up my jaw and my fucking ribs. She fucked up my ribs bad, dude. I wonder if she knew. I wonder if she knew about uh my injured rib before. Can you look, take a look at the female dating strategy Reddit? What is that? What is that? Femso subreddit? Okay, remind me of the name after I go through. Yay! Yay! Yay, busy month. Oh, an edit, thank you. This is a cool edit. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You know, I wish more people would uh cut my fight up like that so you don't see all the terrible form I had. Yeah. Th there probably was a lot of effort into this. Thank you. Uh newly discovered treatment. I doctor my <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that's funny. That's funny. That's funny. When I couldn't fucking see when both my contacts came out and all they were doing was pouring fucking ice water down my back. Damn, this person was pretty close. Emma!
so loud, sorry. Oh my god, it is Pooh! He has his little logo in the corner. What is this song? I kind of fuck with it. I think he said it at the start of it. Ready to die. Uh, 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 Thank you, Pooh. Thank you, Pooh. I can't dance like I used to. I don't have the same moves as Haley. Haley. Fuck me. Man, that backhand was a mistake. Haley's fucking terrifying, dude. Fucking slut drop. The slut drop. H3 H3 comments The next fight was incredible It was uh, Justa Minx versus Yodeling Haley That fight was off the rails yeah, bro. That fight was, was incredible really you know? <laughs> those, Both those ladies just fought their hearts out Yeah And it was, it was kind of a bloodbath Because Yodeling Haley said she doesn't even remember the fight She got clocked a lot But she landed some she, good She punches. clarified later that it, she didn't mean From like concussion memory loss just that the the nerves and the adrenaline yeah uh, okay that okay. made it okay. a blur yeah that was one of my favorite fights those those ladies were incredible yeah uh, wow complimented complimented thank you play this musical and we're deep hold deep ah. why did you make my mom into a fucking Let's go I can put you in. I can put you in. I can see the whole city. Okay, what was uh No, I do remember. I do remember. I just I'm for I'm making myself purposely black out that memory of my mom just meowing on the phone, okay? Okay? Uh, what was that Reddit, the Femstil Reddit that you were talking about? I'm so curious about that. Yeah, repressed memory, man. A repressed memory. Female dating strategy. I hear you. I feel you. Female dating. What, chat? Why are you so against this? How bad can it be? It's a private community. Request to join. Thanks. I can't get in. It won't let me in. Let me in. Try this site. They have a whole website. Female dating strategy. FDS. No. Thirty seven lies you were taught about men. What? Forum. Podcasts. New activity. Pick me. Sacrificing her future for a dying man. What the fuck? The King Unmatched. If it would offend most women, this is in Craigslist. So I don't. What? What is hang out? Watch a movie and eat takeout. Maybe have a drink and not more Run. than that. You think.
think it's appropriate to invite a woman who who's never met you over to your home? <laughs> well, yeah, it's just a question. You can say no if you want or just not respond. I asked you a question too. Why would you think a woman would want to come to an absolute stranger's home on the first meeting? It never hurts to ask, but clearly me asking that offended you, so let's just forget about it. It would offend most women. What? Isn't this common on dating apps? This isn't Craigslist. I don't really think so. Oh, well, dear God, you were seriously this upset over a simple question. I'm not upset. It's just insane to me. You'd invite a woman to your home for a drink the very first time meeting. If I want to create this person, I'll ask for someone who's actually worth fucking. Dude, I didn't expect it to be this bad. I did not expect it to be this bad. Thank you so much for the prime mort. Why singleness just means you have standards. Stan Why did I say it like that? Read comments. Classic rejected, so you must be upset. Then all of a sudden you're not fuckable. Who won't suggest a real do? This is what they do. Take out, lol. I'm just asking. You can always say no, but then it'll act like a whiny little bitch when you do say no. Definitely a walking red flag. First asking you to his house and late or offering you a drink at his place. What the fuck? Holy shit, so all the comments agree with them. I was assume, I, I was guessing that was going to be... Uh-oh. Do single women really live the longest? Can someone share studies about this? Gen generally, single women live longer, healthier, and happier than most married women. This is for a multitude of reasons. Less stress, smaller workload, more free time and independence, most relationships being mediocre. However, people in happy marriages do have greater long... Okay, boring. <coughs> I, I am a mortal man. This is insane. Guys, audacity examples. I'm curious about your experiences. I'll share one. I knew a guy online. We were online friends. He was in his mid-20s. Parents were both drug addicts who died years ago, so he had a part-time job he lost. He used to smoke weed and go with escorts some years ago. Now he only smokes regular cigarettes and drinks socially. Basically not, an not, basically not an ideal guy to take home to the parents. And yet when some girls was after him, or when he would check Tinder, we would say, I he would say, I don't like her, she's not elegant enough. As if an elegant woman would date someone like that. I mean, anything is possible, but gosh, of all reasons, the lack of eleg elegance. This guy sounds like he won't know elegance if a roundhouse kicked him in the jaw. Hilarious. My ex-co-worker was a literal man-child who ended up getting laid off from his job. But before that, he used to always swipe women on Hinge. Yes, it's not just Tinder that's garbage. During our coffee breaks while complaining about how they were using him for a free meal and how we wanted a wholesome woman instead. The dude was insufferable. What? The fuck? Why FDS is abandoning Reddit? Don't care. FDS book tread. No. Women do not sexualize themselves. Do... Okay, I want, a mo I, I want more like this one. This one was funny. This one was funny. Recent thoughts. Tell us your thoughts. Sat in my car traffic... Sat in my car in traffic yesterday and I had a deep realization. One... I, and we already know, but actually never really clearly thought about fully, I suppose. What the fuck is she on about? We don't need men. Like, why do we need them, really? We have come so far as women to be able to live independently and not deal with their bullshit. We can work, provide, and live full lives. I feel so thankful not having to live in my grandparents' era. I can remember asking my grandma when I was young and my granddad died why she hadn't found a new husband. 
She said, I can go where I want as long as I want with whoever I want, and I'm happy with that. Sure, she was lonely sometimes, but she made the most of her independence. She took pride in her home and appearance and was always out socializing with friends or shopping. Her words were clear, and I always remember that. I've been in relationships, and I'm single now. Single is absolutely, without well, doubt, better than being in a relationship with a shitty man. Bro. It's crazy when you think about the fact that our female ancestors didn't have the option to both be alone and have financial security. I feel you. I love being in situations with reduced male presence. Choosing to be happy with single life was a wonderful time of internal growth. We do need men to procreate and considering FDS is a space for female heterosexuality. Oh fuck, so all these are straight girls too. It's not like we can help but be attracted to men and seek their companionship. Men are the ones on the front line of war, justifiably because women are genuinely better community leaders, organizers, and caretakers. This is a personal addition, but I need my husband because he has chores around our home to do. Why do we need... Dude... This is weird. These people are weird. And then he ghosted. This is in mine. I found this online. While good for the first woman, pity her reply. I once went on a date with a guy who had gained 50 pounds, posted pics of himself super skinny. One was even of him boxing. I liked him, went on a date, and honestly, I couldn't see him again because I felt like he was lying from the get go. If he had put his real photos online, I probably still would have matched him. Same just happened to me recently. Dude's photos were great and we really vibed on the phone. I get there and he very, very obviously had a severe lazy eye. I didn't know where to look. Then he farted on me when we fucked. It was awful. But I told him to keep going. I meant fucking but he kept thrusting and farted every time he did. Like walking farts but fucking farts. Then he ghosted me. My fucking life. This post has just confused me. Yeah, no, that has to be satire. That has to be satire. <laughs> I would have stopped at the first fart. Dude. Advice on how to stop consuming porn. I stopped watching porn, but I've relapsed. I thought that reading erotica is fine, but I've been reading erotica with BDSM incest scenes. Any tips on how to kick the habit? No, I'm not making posts, man. I'm not getting these fucking fem cells after me. They would hate me. They would hate me, and I'm scared they'll find me and come to my stream and bully me. Premarital sex part two. No, I'm not watching a video. Hand fucking bio. Verified member. Merch. Whoa. Bit of FDS tank top going on here. I'd look good as shit in this, huh? Walking around. Damn. Nice little femme cell top. I bet they think FDS sounds cool. I bet like in their fucking Twitter bios they have F FDS. FDS squad. Only $23 to become a femme cell today. Queen shit. Damn. Look at this bracelet. Queen shit. I kind of want to get this now because you know this shit is going to scroat tears mug. Bro! I kind of want this. Daddy... What? Buy the mouse pad? 
No. It's kind of a cute mouse pad, though. I, yeah, I'll get it as a gift for all my friends. I know what to get everyone now for their next birthdays and shit. Uh, thank you so much for the 2005 bits. When an uncle passed away recently, I asked my aunt how she was. She said it's a matter of life and death. Now that he's dead, I have a life. <gasps> okay, that's a joke. I was about to say, yo, what the fuck, Gore? Your uncle kind of whack. Your uncle kind oh of insane. God. I'm so sad that Overwatch <laughs> beta's ended. Right when I come back, I'm like, why? Why did I have to come out at this time? Call me, reach me if you want to beat me. Oh my god. Damn, Dad's knockout has 1.5 million Kick views. Kick gifted a tier 1 sub to theme kicker through E. They have given 14 gift subs in the channel. Thank you for gifting a sub. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Damn, dude. 1.5 million views. When your uncle passed recently, I asked my aunt how she was. She said it's no a matter of life and death. Now that he's dead, I have a life. I'd love to see uh, Lucas, the Fred guy, fight Matt Watson. Oh, it's sped up. I was like, wow, he's moving quick. I was like, damn, he's really fast. <gasps> oh, that one scares me. That one scares me. No, Dad Watson then. Doesn't matter when, doesn't matter when. That's not how the song goes. I'll be with you, baby, till the very end. A danger, a trouble, and stare on the trouble. A trouble. Fuck, is sorry. Uh, okay. <gasps> They're removing the friends feature of Twitch. Way to make streamers feel so much more alone. Damn. Wow. Wow. He looked like a psychopath during the fight. He did. He did. What the fuck? Is uh, Jake Lucky still doing that fucking trip where he's traveling around, pe traveling around with people? You didn't know that Twitch is friends? If you want to rent me, huh? doesn't matter where, doesn't matter. Okay, I guess I'll get into boxing now. Hey, Izzy! Thank you so much for the five gifted subs. Five gifted subs. I don't know whether to, uh... I'm kind of tired. I don't know if I can even set it up. I probably should have tried before stream. Oh, Cornelius. Oh, you are so cute. Oh, my boys are just curled up beside me. Oh. Why is everyone hearing about me being deported? Why is everyone just... I, I told you that ages ago. Why are people only hearing about this now? You see LSF gamble drama? There's gamble drama again? Is that why Ms. Kip's title was drama? Oh, shit. Wait, okay, I love me a bit of drama, actually. I love me a bit of drama. XQC gaslighting a donator who predicted his gambling streams a day before his sponsorship announcement. No one believes that you who gambles a ton of money off stream gives a shit about some garbage CSGO cases. You are using about, this uh... to start streaming slots again. What are you I talking about then? Don't become a fake money scammer like Train Sage. What are you talking about? This is pure delusion. Hi, what is wrong with you? Why is Dono twenty minutes late? Holy this shit! Your mental. Minutes ago, fire.
And they were right. And they were right. And then the next day he announced a sponsorship. That's funny. XQC doesn't say that. Oops. XQC doesn't say that. No one thinks gambling is good. Everyone thinks gambling is a bad thing. Izzy, it's not thank a you good for the five thing. gifted again. No one, thank you, you, thank you, thank you. You can't make an argument and say gambling is good. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, but I just think everyone has a fucking price at the end of the day. Including myself. I've already said that. If, if I got offered 20 million fucking dollars, do I think I'd take it realistically? Uh, 20, 000, if I got paid a quarter billion dollars a year, I I would be like question marking myself every second and being like, what the fuck do I do? And I'm sorry, I'm human. I, 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 I'm not going to sugarcoat it and say that I would not and I'm some moral god. I think everyone does have a price at the end of the day. It's just a matter of how high. Uh, mine's not that high, so slots, hey. XQC goes back to sponsor gambling after being sorry and quitting a year ago. Silently placed ad at the end of the title. No gambling in Yo. Yo. Your microphone good, is using the wrong one. Is this using the what wrong one? What a banger song, though. I don't think so. Hello? Can you feel my heartbeat? Can you guys hear me? I wanna know. Yeah, we can hear you now, mate. Is it the right, is it the right mic now or not? Freaks there, too. Yeah, it's the right yeah. one. Yeah. I might just go full book book. <laughs> Shit. Okay, so the drama is that he accepted another sponsor and people are shitting on him for it. Is that it? Look how pretty she is. Hey, I'm in. Yo. Can we have a picture? Yeah, sure. Oh, Hey, hey, good level, It's crazy to see you in real life. Yeah, that's me. You guys are all tall. Holy crap. Yeah, here, put more, put more. Oh my god, yeah, what you doing here? It's actually crazy to see you in real life. Sure. It's good to see you. Good to see you guys too. We're gonna pretend we didn't see the streams like. No, yeah, sure. <laughs> this never happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You guys all look great, by the way. Yeah, you too. I like your, I like your hands. I like, I like your. Everyone here is so nice. Raven, yeah, and original Gucci, of course. Thank you. We're slowly convincing Mr. Moon. It's actually unbelievable. No, don't leave America. Don't leave me, my Norwegian queen. Don't leave me. Oh no, I can't look at that. Uh, look, I don't know shit about gambling, so I never really care about the gambling drama you know i just know that they make a lot of fucking money from it where i'm like well, hello i don't know how to gamble and i guess you know i could get away with gamble sponsorship no one trusts me no one believes me give me a million dollars right now gambling right now give it to me um okay I don't know if I want to try set my VR set just for a fucking boxing game. I wonder if there's any other good games. Maybe a scary game. Maybe there's a scary game. Open Fortnite. Congratulations. Sorry for late. Thank you. Oh yeah, I can't gamble in the US. I forgot about that. That's fucking terrible. That's terrible. What's that game I got? Uh... Okay, VR, VR, VR. 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 Why is there no VR games that are good? Uh, oh, wait, did we? Oh, we never played the Husbando game. Okay, VR. Doesn't matter when, doesn't matter when. I'll be with you, baby, till the very end. Ultimate obstacle course. Maybe I should do this for uh, Ammo's thing. Afterlife. Horror. New and trending. It's high noon. Izzy, thank you for the five gifted subs. Izzy, thank you. Let me see this. 
Thank you, thank you, thank you. Why is the animation like that? Huh. What else is there? Private property. Sing together. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Mm -mm. The spotlight was burning like a flame. I was a body and a name, and all the rest was gone. He's a good singer, though. Trapped like a hermit in a cage, I left the others on. So fucking dumb. Why does it have to be in VR? Summer vacation? Oh. Oh. Now there be goblins. Friendship? Get me out of here, man. What the fuck? Legendary Tales. Nothing looks good. Nothing looks good. Job simulator, ew. I've played Beat Saber before. I've played Beat Saber before. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh, uh. Well, I'm surprised there's not that many horror games out. I expected there to be more. There was a girlfriend situation or one but Man, why is there no fucking scary games? Half Life? Oh fuck it, maybe I'll just get in the fucking pool. Oh wait, no, my phone's not charged. Isn't the only point of your horror? Yeah, man, see? See? Play Phasmophobia? Oh my god, I forgot about that. Blair Witch is on VR? Have I played that before? Okay, I'll play Scary Wife. I'll play Scary Wife. Ow. And then instead I'll just do a whole VR stream instead of React and Mix. Did you ever play through Five Night Freddy's VR? We did. 
We did. We did. Dude, I think I'm like actually peeling. I am peeling. I'm sunburned. Anyone, would anyone buy my peels? Fuck no. Why are there no good games? Scary Wife will probably be the best game ever. Scary Wife. Perfect timing with the Amber and Johnny shit going on too. Perfect timing. I was supposed to be in Austin this week, chat. And then I got too lazy after the fight. But now I'm kind of like, I kind of want to go. Well, I also can't because of cats. I want the demon wife. Bye. Not enough XP, I can't. I'm not sure this is safe anymore. I feel like I should have put a bit more research into it. Scary wife. But now I'm scared to play it. Now I'm scared. Why this game? Because I had no other game to play. Turn down the music. Let me see. Let me see what it says on the Steam page. Is there nudity? It doesn't say much, honestly. It just says mostly negative review. Mostly negative. Rating for ES. It's for everyone. It's rated for everyone. Okay, if it's right for everyone, we should be safe. Yeah, it's a family game. Ten and up can play. Okay. When I woke up in my mansion, I want to leave from here, but I can't. My scary wife is looking for me. I realize what I must do. I always make some notes. Perhaps like this is actually Johnny Depp Simulator. Perhaps I can find what's happening to me. I need to find all ten notes and escape. So I have to escape my wife. Why am I moving side to side? It's making me dizzy. What do the notes even look like? Why am I turning like that? 
Like, am I gonna be able to see what the fucking notes look like? Where? What's that now? Is this a note? This is a dumb fucking game, is what it is. I'm concussed from my wife beating my ass. True. Can you get? Can you stop? Why is my hand doing that? Why is my hand doing this? Oh my god, I just want to see the wife. Fuck the notes. Ring, ding, ding. Why is my fucking hand in my face the whole time? Huge house. Huge house. So she's just slowly walking towards me? Does she even see me? Oh, she's just slowly walking towards me. Ah! She's not scary. She's slow. So I could literally just walk. I don't even need to run. She has- oh, she has a ball. Come on, bitch. I'm flying. It is- oh. Oh. Is this a dead end? Oh, I need to get back up before she comes. Oh. Oh. Hello? Ooh, pills. You take eye pills? Damn, she's popping off. She's just disappearing. Girl. You are not that scary. I just don't like that I can't find one fucking note. She looking for me in there? Ooh. <sighs> Dumbass bitch. Golly. Golly. Do I to see what happens? I'm not playing this anymore. You collected zero pictures. Great. No XP. Why does the music kind of sound like the two girls one cup? Music. It kind of does. And it's giving me PTSD. PTSD. It does. It does. It does. It does. It does. It does. Right. Chat, I think I'm going to end. Charge my phone and either do a driving stream tomorrow or we'll just do the boxing stream. My fucking rib is killing me, man. My rib is actually killing me. I'm so sore. I'm so much pain. Surely she'll do VR chat one day. To be fair, we're, we've taken the first step towards it, you know? I'm after plugging in the remotes and they're charging for once. Oh! Chat, what do you do for rib pain? What do you do for rib pain? What the fuck? Trevor had the... <laughs> <laughs> Trevor had the guy from fucking uh, it on his podcast. Lord bless us and save us. Stretch and ibuprofen. You're sitting weird, so that can cause cramping. Would you ever do an interactive game like Detroit Come Human? Yeah, probably. Ow, child, what do I do for my rib? Someone tell me. It's starting to hurt again. 
I did take Tylenol, Tylenol, but I took it before stream. Get better posture. Ow! I'm injured, cha. I'm injured. I'm injured, cha. I'm injured. Okay. Let's raid Kiara. It's been a while. She was so cute. She wanted to fly out and throw me a huge party and then she missed her flight. The idiot. Weed is good for that kind of pain. Arnica. You don't look fine. But I, I'm, I'm in a bit of pain. Alright. Cheddar Rooney. Cheddar Dooney. Cheddar Pooney. I will probably be live tomorrow. We will either be doing a driving stream uh, or we will be doing VOR. Wow. Wow, look at that. A plan. I'm so empty inside after my boxing match. Like, I'm like, what now? Where do I go from here? What do I do? I don't know. <sighs> All right, chat. Talk to you later. Have a good day. Have a good night. Have a good year. Give Kiara some love. She's so cute. She always messages me and she's like, I want you to know you're still my best friend. And I'm like, thank you, Kiara. Thank you. I will see you when I see you. And maybe next time we can start planning a subathon. Maybe. Maybe. Probably not, though. Bye!